So this Grammy and Tony nominated performer has lit up the stage in music schools like Memphis, The Little Mermaid. Yes, in the Broadway hit Ain't Too Proud, he led the cast as Founding Temptations member Otis Williams. Take a look. I know I've got to find some kind of peace of mind, baby. Was unbelievable in that show. Yes, he not only has a great voice, but he also has some smooth moves as well. Mm -hmm. Starting tonight, we can get up close and personal with actor and singer Derek Baskin, and he joins us this morning with a sneak peek of his latest singing engagement. Good morning, Good morning. Derek. Yeah. How Good are you? To see you? Hey guys, y'all took me down memory lane. Right? <laughs> That's what we do around here. Wow. We like, we like, if you're gonna come on early, we like to take you down a trip and make you feel something. All right. Hey, uh, just. Just to recap, Ain't Too Proud, you were the narrator, right? Plus you were singing yeah. and dancing with the rest of the cast. You were pretty much in the entire show. Uh, was I was in every scene. Every single show. scene. Well, I mean, how every challenging was that? Every single scene. Very, very, very challenging. <laughs> very much so. There was no, you know, time to rest. You just had to just keep going. But it's such a beautiful story to tell um, about some just beautiful, iconic men. And so it, it made all the work worth it. So any change or chance of seeing you return to that role or perhaps another Broadway show this fall? Because things are opening up. Yeah. Things are opening up. I literally left the show a week before Broadway shut down. Wow. It was the end of my contract. Yeah, me and Ephraim Sykes, uh, who also played David Ruffin, it was our last show literally a week before. Um, so I'm really rooting for those guys. It's such a beautiful show. Mm. Um, and I'm really rooting for them to win. Uh, I think they come back in October. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's a great show. You should absolutely check it out. Nick Walker, um, the wonderful actor who comes from Hamilton, um, he is replacing me. I'm really looking forward to seeing his take on it. You're irreplaceable, but yes, we wish him <laughs> uh, the best because uh, you were absolutely fantastic in that show. But I mean, you just kind of talked about how it's been more than a year off stage with the pandemic. So before we get yeah. into what you're up to now, what did you do? How did you keep busy during the hiatus? You know, I kind of use this time to really reflect on myself. You know, as actors and artists, there's just, you have this drive in you. You kind of have your blinders on and, and you're just trying to see like what the next project is. You're trying to will yourself forward uh, to rise in this career. And, you know, when the world shut down, it allowed me time for kind of solace. Yeah. It allowed me to kind of just get in touch with myself to kind of take stock and, um, kind of everything that I have achieved. I don't think I was in a space of kind of gratitude before mm. the pandemic. Mm. You know, I was always looking for that next project. I was always yeah. just looking for what's next as opposed to what's now, like what's happening oh, in my life yes. right now. Um, this pandemic allowed me to get in touch with myself, to uh, practice some self-love, mm. um, that, and so that's what I've been doing. It's What'd you kind do of to like, practice yeah. self-love? Because we always talk about it, right? You know, yeah, self-care, sure. yeah, self-love. Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, for me, it's just all about valuing yourself. You know, I think a lot of times for me, I was looking external, externally for validation mm -hmm. um, as opposed to looking at myself internally and just affirming yeah. myself, not necessarily everything I feel that we're looking for in life, I, I believe we, we hold. We have right mm. so the love that i'm looking for in life if i learn to love myself then that makes me more more of a whole person right and so i began to kind of look at myself and the relationships i've been in and what adjustments i need to make to be a better friend to be a better brother to be a better lover like yeah. all these things to be a better son um all these things i began to kind of just take stock of and i think that's kind of the road to self-healing self-help right. self-love and i've been doing that for a year now and it's been yeah. just such a blessing to have this time of stillness. Yeah. I needed this time of yeah. stillness because now that we're opening back up, I actually now feel equipped to actually continue on my journey in my career. I feel like I'm in a better place. I feel more grounded. Well, I feel like I should have done more with this my time. <laughs> you <laughs> <maybe> quickly <laughs> used it wisely. My gosh. No, but I'm glad to hear that because it all begins with yourself first, right? And then the rest kind of falls yeah. into place, yeah. you know? And, and so now yeah, that you were able to do that and look within, you, sir, are headlining the, this big performance at Feinstein's 54 Below for the yeah. very first time. So bringing yeah. live music back to audiences once again. How excited are you? Oh, man, I'm so excited. You, you know, I come from theater. I'm a Broadway baby. So, you know, that kind of exchange of energy, I've missed it. You know, I've enjoyed being with myself, uh, you know, for this last year. But that just that energy that mm -hmm. give and take with someone who comes and it allows me to share my art and pour my soul into your soul that kind of 
energy exchange, I miss it. I'm so excited no, about kind of reestablishing that. Hey, you've been rehearsing oh. for the show, right? So what's on the set list? Yeah. Can you give us an indication? I'll give you a little bit. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, the last Broadway show I was in was Ain't Too Proud, The Life yeah. and Times of the Temptation. So I have to honor those guys who um, helped me get to where I'm at right now. Um, so you're going to hear a little bit of Temptations, okay. but, you know, I'm an old school kind of guy. So, you know, you're going to hear some Stevie Wonder. Mm. You're going to hear some some Donny Hathaway. Uh, you're going to hear some Louis Armstrong. Wow. Uh, but then, you know, I'm going to throw some gospel in there to kind of, you know, give, um, pay honor to the people who've come before me, you know, my yeah. grandparents and their grandparents. And I want to honor that. So we got some old school gospel we're going to hit. There you go. Uh, yeah. And then we're gonna, we'll, we'll keep it young for the kids, too. We all got right. some okay. D'Angelo. Yeah. Oh, hey. You know what I mean? We, we got all that stuff. We, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cover it all. I've been so many places oh, here we go. in my Derek, life and Derek. time. I, well, I, I apologize. I, and, and also, a special duet is happening, apparently, tonight. <laughs> you gave it away. You gave it away. I my, gave it away, man. Gave my it away. goodness. Uh, hey, Derek, <laughs> great to have you on this morning. For those who aren't in, in tune with what happened during the commercial break, I was like, what are you going to be singing for us? And he was like, oh, hold on a second, decline. Decline. But he was <laughs> How do I decline this? <laughs> no, I just got up. This voice is not even awake. I can't even talk with it. Uh, Derek, thank you. <laughs> Good thank to you talk to here. you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. His show, yeah. Feinstein's 54 Below, kicks off tonight. Runs through Saturday, July 3rd. For tickets, you can go to 54below.com.